السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ برتن سسٹرس آئی ریئلی فیل آنر ٹو ڈے ٹو اناؤنس ہائیلی ان ڈیوٹی اپلیکیشن پاور بائی گوگل کوڈ دیٹ ٹرائز ٹو پریڈیٹ ہجری ڈیٹس فار ٹو ڈے فیوچر اینڈ دا پاسٹ ٹوٹلی یوز ان میتھمیٹکل کیلکولیشنس دا ایز پر دا ٹیسٹنگ اویل اینڈ دا اویلیبل ڈاٹا ود می کانفیڈنٹ ڈیٹ اٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی ایٹ لیسٹ نائنٹی نائن پرسینٹ ایکوریٹ to be frank the purpose of this application has never will never be to declare any date future or past with any certainty however it just helps someone to predict the probability of the future special lunar events like eid and muharram so that the person could accordingly plan for holidays we all know that visibility of a moon is certainly dependent on many other secondary factors of course primary factor is the orientation of the sun moon and the earth but of course the application if it tells you that today is going to be eid let's say it reads like eid mubarak you know uh, first of shawwal month 10 1431 uh, ah uh, and and it also might it will, it will also read based upon this that it is based upon certain probability of visibility of moon on the on on a night before that that is 9 september it was uh, so it will tell you that it was how much per percentage it was probable uh, the visibility of moon on the previous day previous evening and it will also sometimes tell you how much it was probable on the previous day to previous day that is on 8 september so here me let me introduce to the application here so this is the interface of the application here certain pictures to assist you to understand certain columns which i am returning like the altitude angle and the solar azimuth angle it will also show you the map of the continents if you clearly see the on the northern hemisphere that is about the equator you will have three major continents north america europe and asia and on the lower side of south america africa and australia so this actually has helped me to separate all these different cities and countries into different list boxes so that a user belonging to a particular area or continent he can just go to a corresponding list box and select the area and correspondingly uh, submit it after selecting certain options these are the dynamic uh, columns which a user can choose one or many same case holds for true for any of these list boxes one can choose one or many and depending upon that those results will come up here and this date is uh, fast to use and you can navigate left and right anywhere to the particular date or if you don't want a date closer to uh, to the one it shows you you can simply you know to the date uh, type in a date which is you know let's say i want a date close to 12th of june 1992 The good thing about this calendar is it's very much uh, uh, can return you the accurate results um, up to up to uh, you know as past as first of AD that is after the BC uh, and it can show you the results even up to uh, 4000 AD or maybe even longer than that you know up to eternity you know kind of so it's simply based on calculations no backend database is there. and the good thing is you don't have to type in anything here you just have to submit it based upon the available uh, data here so let's say if i am from india or pakistan i will choose something from here which is the asian side that is this side and choose the corresponding cities i want to submit and then i would like to submit let's say i already submitted it uh, and these are the data available with me so richmond uh, so the order in which its uh, return is not based upon any other criteria apart from what you know the the way it's uh, chosen richmond comes with the first list box so that's the reason richmond is coming up as and it will show you uh, the date the one you selected the latitude of the region the longitude the standard time zone it follows let me show you do three uh, things uh, fast in a world time zone uh, maybe most of you are not familiar with it this is the zero degree greenwich mean time which uh, which is basically you know london okay and if you go on the right side